Hello everybody, welcome back to It's the Night Time and ideally Louise should be asleep by now so she can get up early the next morning and be refreshed for work tomorrow but she's filming this instead. I haven't done a video in a while and I feel a bit bad about it but it's been very busy which is weird considering you know it's lockdown, no one's supposed to be busy but I am a retail worker, I am a key worker. Um, so I actually have been busy. I've been given extra hours, which is what I wanted anyway, so it's fine But I want to do something anyway for you guys So I've decided to just do a mini review on a few parrot products So I hope you enjoy that and I hope it'll be really useful for some people Okay, so the first thing I wanted to just quickly talk about um, I'm not sponsored by anything. I'm in no way have Have any affiliation with anything at all. I just wanted to tell you guys about this because these things I think are pretty cool. I am somebody that's a little bit scared of fire. Not for personal reasons, I just, you know, paranoid about it. Um, but I still like candles. Um, and when I got birds, it wasn't the biggest issue that I could no longer use candles anymore. For anyone who doesn't know, if you have a bird, any parrot, pigeon, canary, whatever, if you have a bird, they have really bad respiratory issues and it's ideal that you just don't use candles anymore at any cost because the scent, the f the, the burning scent or anything that's coming out of that candle chemically could be fatal to them. So, you know, don't use candles at all around birds. Um, but then I heard about this um, parrot safe candles, that's what they're literally called, parrot safe candles. And I was only looking up, looking up curiously to see if you can get parrot safe candles because it was during a day when, oh, I miss having a candle around. I mean, I would never light a candle for long periods of time because I know how dangerous it could be, but I would, um, I would, uh, in fact, I was just climbing over having a look at the candle. You like it? I just, um, like the idea of having a candle around at some point see if I can make a parrot safe candle is it even possible most of the time if you want to keep your house nicely scented and you have birds the thing you do the most is clean you just clean and that should be enough you can also do simmer pots that's the most popular thing you could do if you want to scent your home and you have birds and it's the most natural thing to do because simmer pots are literally just boiling up herbs or fruit or any natural sense you know it's very very safe to do um but i have heard about this and i got it as a christmas present um a very lovely christmas present i'm very thankful for it i have tried it as you can see from the wick um and it's 100 percent soy wax um and it still eliminates odors um this one is actually peppermint and mocha scented it's uh it's absolutely beautiful but i was still skeptical at first because all right, okay, you know, parrot safe candle, that's great, but is it just a gimmick? If you leave a candle on for a long period of time, that's probably not gonna help the bird anyway, which I personally do, don't do that anyway. I don't leave a candle on for any more than 20 minutes because I don't need it on for any longer than that, and it eliminates odor with that amount of time, but I know a lot of people do, um, so I wasn't entirely sure about it. So I had it on for 10 minutes at most to start off with, and the window was open, so fresh air could come in anyway. Um, and the boys were absolutely fine after that, nothing nothing happened. And this was all in the same room as the cages, in the living room right here. And then I closed the windows after a while and kept the candle on for 20 minutes. Um, and again, the boys are absolutely fine. You know, they're just hopping around, they're not dying or anything. And the room absolutely smelled lovely, smelled of peppermint mocha, which is that I absolutely love this smell. Stop chewing the sofa! You can get wax melts from this um, shop as well. It's an online store. You can get wax melts from them as well as candles. It comes with a cork top, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's pretty obvious for bird people, um, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Don't have any flame, open flame happening when you have your birds outside their cage or if they're um, free flight in your house. Always put the lids back on if the candle has a lid back on. Just be very, very careful with candles in general. I only, I only think you're only keeping one enough so, you know, the odour in your house can be eliminated. But if you don't want to do some of the parts or if you still have time to clean your house at the moment, um, this is a really good thing to use and it actually worked. It didn't harm any of my boys. That's right, it didn't do that at all, did it? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. And the next thing I wanted to show you is we're just going to go through this together. I haven't properly opened it yet, but we're going to go through all of it together. I got some new toys for the boys as well because I know they're getting bored recently. So during the January sale at Northern Parrot's website, I decided to get some cheap toys made out of cardboard and wicker and you know things that are very easily chewable because my boys especially Paco here loves to chew things they love to destroy and I think it'll be you know a bunch of great little toys to have around as well as the toys that they already have in their cage um, I've already opened the box but let's just look for it together anyway I've got quite a few things Northern Paris is such a good website for me to buy things from as well because most parrot based websites are also US based or from somewhere in Europe. What I know, Northern Parrots is UK based. Um, so it's a lot better for me because I don't have to pay any tax or anything like that. I have got these little squares. Fun Max bird toys, the Zoo Max bird toys. They're just, they're just little colourful squares that you can throw around and you give to your boys. Literally just like wooden squares. The, the, the toys are just so simple and you don't need you know anything? There you go. Is that parrot approved? Is it Paco approved? There you go. He's already destroying it. Already. I also have got a bunch of pencils. They're just they're not proper pencils or anything like that from what I know. They're just toy pencils again made out of wood. And is that parrot approved? No, is it a bit too big? There was an option for different sizes of pencils. Um, so I feel like these ones are marketed towards much larger parrots than Senegals or, Qu or Quakers, which is what I have. So I think these are a bit too big from them looking at them now. But you can still shoot them, mate. I could break it up in half or something like that. You know, like... Okay, they're a bit harder to break in half, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. These are birdie bangles, what they call them. It's literally just um cardboard um put together into a bangle shape into a ring and these are the ones i wanted to get the most because paco loves cardboard from what i know and kiwi sometimes likes cardboard but paco loves cardboard so these are usually you know a lot better so i feel like you like them again they're pretty big i i got the smaller size of birdie bangle but these ones are quite big so i feel like i have to put this on the floor and they can't carry them um, but I don't think it's going to be an issue, really. No, you like that? He seems to like it. It's just a bit heavy, isn't it? Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah, it's a bit heavy. It's not a problem. And there it goes, rolling on the floor, along with all the cat toys on the floor as well. I got these uh, wicker ball with lollipop stick inside them. I feel like these would be a lot lighter. A lot lighter to hold. You know, you know, like it's like having a rattle, giving a baby a rattle. What do you think? Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I'll test these things on them later and I'll try and video it for you guys. Um, But hopefully, hopefully you don't like them. They're just wicker rings. Simple wicker rings. A lot of these toys that I bought, you can actually make. Um, So I usually are make these toys myself, but the reason why I bought them is because of the January sale that they were having, so these toys were going super cheap. So that's why I got a whole box of them. And I feel like I just throw them around on the floor, they can play fetch, it'll be a lot of fun, you know. And there's different colours as well. These things are good as well because you could figure out with these toys what colours your birds like as well. And that's actually quite important. Sorry, I'm my hand just covering the camera because I'm trying to get rid of a message on the screen, but um figuring out the, your favourite colours of your parrots is actually important because most of the time you need to take them to the vet the vet or you need to clip their nails or something you need to wrap them up in a blanket just to calm them down if you wrap them up in a blanket with a color that they hate it's game over so toys is a great way to figure out what colors they like again this is super simple it's like how many is in here and just a massive amount of cardboard squares or rectangles just cardboard rectangles Again, I could make these, but they were going super cheap at, during that time that I bought them. And this is going to be super useful because Paco just... You just need to give them any sort of cardboard and it will chew it up. So this is perfect. And finally, the last thing I got was... It wasn't a toy. It was these skewers. 
They are fruit skewers. Again, you can probably transform a normal skewer that you can get from the supermarket or a furniture shop into a fruit skewer for your bird. But these ones are specifically to hang up in the cage for them to nibble on. And they will absolutely love that, um, especially since they don't, my boys are weird, they don't usually like the bowls. I mean, they, you know, the bowls that the cage come with, they'll eat the seed from bowls and they'll drink water from bowls. But if I put nuts or fruit in bowls, they just don't really care. They prefer taking it from my hands. I think that's the best way for them to eat, you know, to take from my hands, but I feel like they'll probably prefer eating from a skewer instead of a bowl because it's right there for them and they can just chew it and they don't have to hold it because I know for a fact they are a little bit lazy. If the boys don't like the toys that I got them, I guess I'll just have to keep trying new things or just make my own toys so I'm not wasting a lot of money. Um, it is possible to make a lot of these toys by scratch. I just thought I'd have a, a splurge, anything to help bird owners with making sure their lives is as normal as easy as possible because that doesn't always happen does it here are some clips with the boys hopefully playing with the toys <laughs> and i'll see you all very soon take care all right bye what do you think what do you think oh dear do you not like it oh hello beautiful hello come on step up oh good boy let's try the pencil again Nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just a square of cardboard. There you go. I knew you liked that. I knew you liked that. You like cardboard, don't you? That was easy. How about you? Do you like this? A square of cardboard. Yeah. Come on. What do you mean, ew? Yeah, some for you to destroy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try and find something that Kiwi's gonna like. So this is a lollipop. Oh dear. It's okay. All right, all right. I put it away. Oh, just a stick. Do you find just a stick? Where are you? You dropped your cardboard square. Oh, I dropped it. Hello. Okay, a piece of wood. A piece of wood. Not sure. Okay, alright. Can you stick it away? There you go. It's a good try. Don't fly away. Finally, let's try the birdie bangle. Orange coloured. Oh dear. I just... Oh! It's alright, you touched it with your beak. That's really good. Well done! Well done! I know you guys were a little bit scared, but I think you did so well. You tried so hard. You guys deserve a little treat. Not my fingers. Come on. Good boy, you deserve a little treat. Here we are, Kiwi. One more treat. It's okay. It's walnuts and yogurt. Good boy. Oh, I know you're scared, but we're gonna help you figure out the toys and then I'm sure you're gonna have fun but I'm so proud of you for trying it out okay say bye <laughs> say bye you want to say bye say bye say bye bye ah. boy come on come on oh thank you good boy come on well done, good boy. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Do you want to step up as well? No, that's all right. 